Hey everyone, Mike from Good Day for Decay. Behind me, my 1976 Cadillac Hearse. You've seen it in uh, a video already. And uh, you know I just sold my 1977 Chrysler Cordoba. The car just went to Arizona. I could put that at the end of the video, as well as this car I'll put at the end of the video. You could check that out as well. So I just picked up a different kind of car. I was looking for something older and it didn't happen that way. So it is a little modern, but I kind of fell in, fell in love with it. I kind of just saw it and it wasn't one of those things I had to have it. So I'm going to pop open the garage door because no sense. I'm going to do it in reverse. I'm going to open the garage door because it's outside because there's no sense of doing it in the garage. This way I could walk around the car outside and show you it. So without further ado, let me flip this camera around and you could check this out. Let's go. All right, let me pop this garage door opener and I'll take a walk and you can see what I got. Yes, it's the General Lee. It's the modern day General Lee. It's a 2006 Dodge Charger RT. I was looking for a Charger in general, and I was looking for a newer one. It didn't happen that way. I saw this one, it is a little older, but I saw it and I had to have it. I was looking for about a 2014 up, but like I said, it's, this happened to come up and it was about four hours away. So I hooked up my uh, truck with the U-Haul trailer and I drove to Massachusetts for this puppy. A long four hour boring trip on the turnpike. Sorry, not turnpike, 84. Yep, it has a CB in it. It has a magna flow exhaust system. But I'm going to, it does need some brake work and stuff. As soon as I got in it and I put it on the trailer, I knew the brakes were low. There was something wrong somewhere. So I'm going to do a complete brake job front to back. That'll be including the brake calipers, the drilled and slotted rotors, the brackets, which are powder coated as well as the calipers are powder coated. <clears throat> but the brakes I'm going to be getting are called Power Stop. And I've never had any problems yet with them. They put the uh, the different grill in it as well. I like that grill. The only downfall is they are stickers. They are decals on the car. The car was repainted. The car was repainted well over 10 years ago. It's not perfect. It's got some dense, very, very few dents or dings in it. It's mostly a couple of paint chips here and there. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy. It's not perfect, you know, but it is a 2006. It's got a hundred thousand on it. So it's not like it's crazy, but it's got a Hemi. You gotta have the Hemi. And that's the, all my parts to do the brakes. Cause we're going to be doing the brakes on this. Interior is in decent shape. 
little uh, little wear on the seat, but nothing crazy. Typical. Hundred nine thousand. There's your uh, Cobra CB Mopar shifter. Pretty pretty basic on the inside. No really uh, fancy fancy. This is pretty clean though inside. Underneath, amazing. It's there's like a, it looks brand new underneath the underneath the car, which I'll take a peek under. I was actually surprised when I looked under it. <clears throat> how clean this is this car is like super clean under here it looks like it's brand new like nothing there's nothing on these boards totally amazing i've never saw a car this clean unless it was brand new so, I mean, it was garaged for the winter, which uh, I'm going to be doing the same thing. Let me, uh, let me start this. I'll pause this and I'll get this started up. All right, I got the keys. It's quite at start. It doesn't seem bad. But as you can hear, it's a Hemi. Gotta love a Hemi. And wait for it. Yep, it's got the horn, of course. Wouldn't have it any other way. There's a CB down there. So, guys, just a quick peek at it. Once I get it to uh, where I need it to be, so I can uh, drive it. The uh, the rear the rear caliper is not really bolted correctly. So whoever uh, whoever this last person took it to, probably a garage, they cut the bolt out and the they kind of stripped out where the caliper bolt goes in so it's kind of only held on by uh by one bolt so i don't want to take a chance and driving it around too much so let me pop the hood open put your typical 5.7 hemi but i just got this uh not too long ago a couple about a month actually about a month ago i think it is where's the hood It's amazingly quiet until you actually get on it and let me tell you the power this thing has this thing moves I'm trying to do this one-handed there we go that is the stock color it's like a, a gray silver color they never painted the engine the engine bay which is fine with me it doesn't look horrible but they put a uh, Put a sway bar on it. They took the uh, the cover off. I'm, it's a possibility that that sway bar might have been in the way of it, so it's probably why they took off the the, uh, the engine cover so you can get at it. It's got a cold air intake on it. Very quiet. It's barely, it's like you can not even hear it running until you actually get on it. And then when you get on it, it just screams. So, I mean, they didn't do a bad job painting it. It's, uh, it's pretty decent. They kind of, uh, they painted the side marker lights, which I don't like. I am going to get different, uh, different headlights and different markers. Because, uh, or fog lights, I should say, not markers. The fog lights, they're all, they're foggy. <laughs> to put it bluntly. And these are all, uh. They're all cloudy. 
you can you can refinish them it, so there's there's no sense of it by the time you spend all that effort and whatnot trying to clean these things you can go out and buy a brand new set for you know a buck and a half and uh have a really nice set on there it'll be blackouts and everything so that's my goal i'll probably maybe do the same thing with the tail lights get new uh tail lights at some point i'm not in a rush for that and probably tint the windows so and these actually this let me pop this open this actually came with the car let me show you all right so these actually came with the car these are the due to they had to take off the uh which we call it the covers for the strut towers these were taken down at i want to say duke fest which is uh it's at Co uh, Cooter's Garage, I believe they call it. It's the big meeting of all the, the Duke fans. So we got Daisy, we got Bone Luke Duke. Um, there is Cooter signed here, but unfortunately from your arm rubbing on it, wasn't a good idea. Maybe uh, they should have did it on the glove box, but having your arm sitting there rubbing, it kind of rubbed the uh, autograph off. I believe it was Cooter. It's hard. Or it's really hard to read. I mean, if you guys could read that, I think it says Cooter. I think it says something something Cooter. Uh, yeah, Ben Jones. So that is really tough to see that one. But those are the other autographs. Like I said, he, they had to take these off because of the uh, the strut mount. So. These are just sitting in the car right now. And they got a, a little charger. When you hit the brake light, it says charger on it. A little blackout and blackout decal there. But this is a mag Magnaflow exhaust. Very, it's very quiet until you actually get on it so anyway guys want to give you a quick peek at this puppy and uh i don't know i fell in love with it i just had to get it so one of my new toys and i mean you guys know i like my toys you know i have i have that one there unfortunately i really didn't get to do much with it this year with covid but will be next year and yes i put a put a rebel license plate on it came with the, the push bar just like the general so guys you know what to do like comment subscribe you know i knew, usually do abandoned videos so definitely uh check my channel out if you're new just looking at this Duke car, check out my channel because I do abandoned places. And uh, yeah, if you like abandoned places, you probably like my videos. I started out doing just pictures, but now I'm actually doing video clips on it. So definitely check it out. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you on my next adventure. See ya. Fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood. Woo!